So I am a Dragon Ball Z fan. You are not. I am. So this is probably going to go right over your head, but I will take the time to explain it. So in the anime, one of the worst villains that they face kind of halfway or kind of in the first third of the show um, is a villain called Frieza. He's the strongest at the time, strongest being in the universe. He can blow planet up with very little effort on his part. And he has a purple head. Yes. So he's a, he's a planet buster and he has several forms. Every time he transforms, he gets, he gets lots and lots stronger. Um, and he basically makes all the other bad guys in the show at that point afraid of him. Um, so, of course, Goku manages to beat him. What? What? Yeah, I didn't see Goku that one coming. Goku beat a villain? Huh? I said Goku beat a villain. That's a first. Well, that was kind of a, a story arc where his body gets switched with the villain. So he goes into... It, Captain Ginyu does a technique where they switch bodies and... Yeah, they had to do that before they could deal with Frieza. Well, I don't know a lot about Dragon Ball Z, but I know that Goku is typically considered like the most powerful being in anime. Yes, he's he is stupid strong. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, he gets keeps getting stronger. The characters have to keep getting stronger. The whole show is basically a Karate Kid montage. Yeah, basically. <laughs> That's what I've gathered. Or Rocky. <laughs> It's a lot like Rocky. I prefer uh, You're the Best Around over I Have a Tiger. <laughs> Wonder if we'll get hit by a copyright strike. But Uh-oh. anyway, staying on track here. Um, so this Japanese chiropractor says he knows the reason why Frieza <laughs> lost the battle. Is it this posture? Yes. <laughs> it wasn't because Goku became a super saiyan and had all of his abilities multiplied by 50 times when i saw this article i thought it was serious and i was like oh is there some like new like weird thing like about how he beat him or something he is <laughs> being serious but but it's but obviously it's obviously not in the no 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 universe doesn't matter. yeah it's not like you know <laughs> toei animation coming out and saying hey here's the real reason why goku won it's nothing like that um this guy needs to lighten up <laughs> but the thing is it's it's kind of funny because he um he gets into, he, I mean, he's a chiropractor, so he kind of knows the stuff about posture, right? So a lot, a lot of uh, the time you see Frieza in his first form, he's not even walking around. He's in this little pod that's kind of floating around, um, and the entire time he has his head, yeah, yeah, he's got his neck <laughs> neck forward, and he's looking very menacing. So. Um, he's saying that's bad posture. Also, uh-uh. his arms are doing this the entire time, and he says that that's the worst position that you could have your arms in, probably for blood flow and that sort of thing. Um, and he did this by referencing uh, not only different scenes in the anime, but also um, a little toy that shows just how much he's wrenching his his head forward um but the thing is he's not human right no so and, and and the thing is you do see some other images of, a, of him showing like a human spine and what that would do to a human spine if but, you're doing that he's not human exactly that, that's the that's the point where the science kind of goes out of the window because <laughs> you can't classify this being but I still assume he has a skeletal structure similar to a human because he's a humanoid. But considering what you said about him being a super powerful being, I think his spine is a little stronger than ours. <laughs> right. Especially, <laughs> you know, when it takes one of his own attacks to cut him in two. Uh, that's pretty funny, though. Um, it, it is funny. It's hilarious. Um, and as a Dragon Ball Z fan, I could definitely, you know appreciate stuff like this <laughs> um but yeah uh now we know why <laughs> and you know i can stop losing sleep over this now 